there is no anger in the world, there is anger in people's minds, individual minds. There is no such thing as anger in the world, isn't it? There is anger in you, there is anger in that person, there is anger in this person. Are you right now angry? Thank you. <laughs> right now you are not angry, that means there is no anger in this hall right now, isn't it? But you can get angry, you can get angry. Right now there is no anger in this hall, but you can get angry. So this is one thing that we have to see, anger is not there. What we call as life energy, what is life? You can make this into anger, you can make this into love, you can make this into compassion, you can make it into frustration, you can make it into depression, you can make it whatever you want, the choice is yours. If you had retained the choice, if the choice was really with you, definitely you would have chosen the most pleasant thing, isn't it? Whatever is the most pleasant thing. Generally people are talking about love, joy, blissfulness because people understand this as the most pleasant things in their life. If you had a choice about what to make yourself off right now in this moment, would you choose pleasantness or unpleasantness? Pleasantness, there's no question about that, isn't it? If I ask you, do you want to live in pleasant atmospheres or unpleasant atmospheres? Pleasantness. Do you want to be pleasant in your mind or unpleasant in your mind? Pleasantness. Do you want to be pleasant in your body, unpleasantness and in your body? Pleasantness. All you're seeking is just this, please see. You may believe that you're seeking money, property, God, whatever. All that you're seeking is just this. You want to be pleasant in your body, in your mind, in your emotion and in your energies. If you, This is all you're seeking. No, I am seeking God. No, if somebody has told you, if you seek God, you will become ecstatic. No, I am want to go to heaven. Somebody has told you heaven is a more pleasant place than this one, that's why you want to go there. Or you made a hell out of your life, whichever way. Fundamentally, you are seeking pleasantness, isn't it? Now, uh, this… this same scientist, because he talked about uh, Emerson using the word Brahma, this scientist tried to look for a word for the… to name the word, to name the chemical which is being received by the cannabis receptors in the brain. He wanted to give a unique name and he studied every scripture on the planet to find an appropriate name. And the most beautiful thing is, no scripture on the planet except from India ever talks about bliss and ecstasy. Everybody talks about salvation, everybody talks about your sins being washed away, at the most peace. Nobody talks about blissfulness and ecstasy. So, he called this chemical which is produced in the body as anandamide. You know ananda? Anandamide. So, cannabis receptors are waiting to receive anandamide. How much anandamide you produce in this system, that is how blissful you will be. It can't be taken… if you take it in the form of an injection, you will become an addict. But if you generate your own ananda mind, you will be blissful always. So if you are blissful, would you be angry? No. Anger… life has found expression in the form of anger only because this life is not blissful, isn't it? If this was blissful every moment of its existence, Question of anger or controlling anger or putting anger down doesn't even arise within you, isn't it? So, what is needed is, yes, there are situations in the world which may be causing anger, but I'm telling you, if you eliminate one situation, another situation will pop up. See, within your own family or within your own situation, do you see, for every small thing people can get angry? Need not be a major issue, yes? Not a life and death kind of issue. A simple thing in your house can make you angry or somebody else in the family angry, isn't it so? So it is not necessarily by settling all the problems on the planet that we will eliminate anger. First of all, if we teach ways of joyfulness and blissfulness right from childhood, we have not focused on this. As a humanity, we have not focused on making our children joyful. If they're making lot of joyful sounds in the house, 
usually adults will go and say, shut up. We have not encouraged joy and bliss as a part of our life. If people were more joyful, did you have to talk about controlling anger? It wouldn't come, isn't it? We need religions of joy, we need politics of joy, we need economics of joy. We need to bring that aspect into our life on all levels. If that is not brought into our life in every possible way and methods to keep the system joyful above all, because without that it will become a fake joy that you're pretending or you're trying to be joyful. Now, if you are producing enough ananda mind in your system, you would be joyful, isn't it? I can show you a million people for whom we have thought how to produce more ananda mind in the system that without any reason people are just happy. People think, oh, if they all become happy, they will become useless. It is not so. Please look at your own life and see. On a particular day when you are happy, are you willing to do more? Or on a particular day when you are unhappy, are you willing to do more? Hmm? When you are happy, you are willing to do anything, isn't it? When you are unhappy, you have to drag yourself through life. When you are happy, you are… you are loving, you are generous, you are flexible, you are sensible, everything. When you are unhappy, you can be real mean and nasty, isn't it? If you meet any human being when he is joyful, he is a wonderful human being. If you meet the same human being when he is unhappy, he can be a very nasty human being. This is so with every human being, isn't it? <laughs>